It was a unique opportunity to see this 129 years all in one room. And it was the, actually the first time ever done. Why not put it together? Why not show them side by side? My grandfather's famous Pepper 30. My work, our son's work. Well, one day when I was developing exhibits here, Gina Weston came in and she started telling me about an exhibit she was creating called The Four Generations of Westons from 1886 to 2014. As she started to say, and it will feature Edward, Brett, by the time she got to Kim, I was like, yes, yes, yes. And I said, but we have a 3,000 square foot gallery space. Can you fill it? And she said, yeah, and they did. And they didn't just fill it up with some amazing photography. Uh, they filled it up with some wonderful family artifacts. Hopefully this video will give you uh, an idea of the excitement and magnitude of this show. Um, there was over 120 prints, uh, plus student prints, uh, and it was really amazing to see it all up, to see that much work uh, all in one, one location. It does cover from 1886 to the present day, uh, four generations, starting with my grandfather, Edward Weston my uncle, Brett Weston, myself, and our son, Zach, the fourth generation. We had a copy of one of my grandfather's first cameras that his father gave to him when he was 16. It was a Kodak bullseye camera. We had my first camera that my father gave to me. We have my uncle's 8x10 camera, and so there's a bunch of neat artifacts. There's my grandfather's retouching desk, there's notes, there's old photographs, and it's all was displayed beautifully in these cases. So it gave the, not only the students that were in our scholarship, but the people that visited the show, a piece of history that they could actually see and see the difference in technology, how it's changed from back then into to today. Salinas area had never had a, a Weston legacy photography show, at least not as big as this one, that sort of featured um, Edward's uh, famous California images and Brett's abstract expressionists and Kim's, you know, sort of theatrical sense. And then, all together, to bring in Zach's work that was sort of a combination of all of them. So it was a wonderful exhibit. And the Steinbeck Center, basically, the National Steinbeck Center had an opportunity to showcase this sort of American story that sort of happened in their own backyard, or as some would say, Steinbeck country. It was wonderful because uh, Kim and Zach both acted as guest curators, which really sort of changed the feature of the exhibition because they came in not just as curators and the artistic feature, but they were the storytellers. And they sort of helped create the show as it meant something to them through their family legacy. And uh, we were really appreciative of having that. It was wonderful because Kim, not only as a, as a photographer, he's also a teacher. So he was able to carry the, the lectures and the talks in a real sort of artistic but honest yet educational way that for museums today, that's a very modern approach for us to sort of hand not just the artistic value, the educational value, but you know to talk about the good and the bad and the ugly of an exhibition. So that was really wonderful that Kim added that feature to the exhibit. Opening night, they stopped counting at 400 people and it was raining. It always seems to rain when we have an opening, but it was very well received. Uh, one of the uh, largest uh, receptions that the Stein National Steinbeck Center has ever had. Uh, so really thank them for that opportunity and the insight to, to put this show together uh, uh, was really uh, impressive.
But we also had a really great feature, something I always like to add to the exhibits. On the night of the opening, we created this wonderful interactive. And it was based on Kim's uh, famous photo of a nude model who sits in the large agave plant. So we created this wonderful agave plant and everybody was able to sit in it from the mayor to famous you know, photographers, curators, the Weston family all got to have this photo op. And so I think we killed Twitter that night with this wonderful interactive. And we had, gosh, we had a thousand people here all throughout the night and it was just filled with great stories about you know who was here and who you know who's who's going to be here next week and it was just a really delightful exhibit i mean to showcase uh, an american story like that was just a wonderful feature for uh, the salinas uh, valley uh, to have and uh, i don't think people have stopped talking about it since then so i was very honored to be part of it as uh, were a lot of people who helped put it together